Now, if you happen to like watching somebody on the internet talk about obsolete pieces of technology, you're probably familiar with a channel called Dank Pods. Dank Pods is a very fascinating YouTube channel about a man going through audio technology and uh it's it's great you should go you should go watch him if you haven't and if for some reason you've managed to find this video before you found what dank pods was i'm not sure how that happened go watch dank pods anyways one of my favorite aspects of the show is whenever dank takes out on a used mp3 player of any sort and looks at what's on it, looks at the music on it, you know, maybe we can see a little bit of what the person who owned it liked and what all they, uh, what all era the player was most used in. But I thought, you know, why wait for him to find more used MP3 players and look through them? Why not do it myself? So I came up with this idea I call iPod Forensic. Technically, I think you could expand that to any MP3 player or digital device or whatever, but Specifically today, we're going to be looking at the contents of three iPod shuffles I've found over the last couple of months. I found this one in a house I was cleaning out, and I was told I could have it. And when I turned it on originally, nothing happened. It didn't play any music, but that was because the battery was dead. So, I plugged it into the charging stand that came with it, and I was kind of shocked to see that the iPod Shuffle, or at the very least the second gen iPod Shuffle, used a 3.5 millimeter audio jack to transfer all of its data. So when I plugged the iPod into the stand it came with, you see that little light blinking, it started charging and I looked at what was on it on my computer. And I found that the only thing that was on it was two copies of Credence Clearwater Revival Chronicle Volume 1, both placed on it as if it were a flash drive. Clearly the person who owned this had no idea how to put music on an iPod. Now even I know how to do that, and this is my very first iPod. Before this, I had a... Polaroid 2GB MP3 player, which actually has more storage on it than this, and an LCD screen, and after that I used an LG smartphone, then I had a second LG smartphone after the Wi-Fi on that one died, basically I think the wireless on that one died too, and then I used a, uh, both of those were Android 4, and now I use a Android 10 Motorola smartphone with a 512 gigabyte micro SD card on it with 26,000 songs on it. Now, I have absolutely no use for any of these as serious music listening devices. I just, I, I find the aesthetic of it intriguing. I love the design and I love the fact that this thing is so small. It like, it is incredibly tiny and I, you know, I have very large hands by comparison. I'm just fascinated by things like this, and the fact that this was once a, a device of great, great expense and importance is amazing. And then I, I literally found this basically in somebody's trash. And then I've got a bunch of other ones. I'm not going to show you the files for this one because it's so simple. But the rest of the ones I'm going to show you today, I'm actually going to splice in footage of me looking at what is on them. I have looked at what is on these two iPods previously. I just can't remember for the life of me what is on them. So we're going to disconnect this guy and hook up the orange gold one first if I can actually get the jack in there. And we are going to look at it and see what is on it. And I'll actually splice in the footage now. As you can see, Credence Clearwater Revival. Now, before we get into looking at... Come on. Before we get into looking at the orange one, let's actually take this out and show you. I did not rename this. This is a legitimately called Frank's iPod. And if it'll show up on iTunes, that'd be great. Thanks. Come on. 
We got this blinking lighting. There is dust blinking lighting. There is dust blinking lighting. That means there is activity. It was working fine just a couple of days ago. Come on, iTunes. Okay, let me try unplugging and plugging it back in. I know this thing is working fine. It was working. Turn it on. Yeah, it's it's on. It's playing the music. I can hear the music. Yeah, that's Credence, all right. That is definitely Credence. I can hear the music, guys. Can you please hook up to the damn computer? Okay, yeah, you see Frank's iPod, and it's got Credence Clearwater Revival and also a Bruce Falconer song that I put on there. All of this has been put on here in playable mode by me. I had to do that because, for some reason, this guy didn't realize, like, didn't even have enough sense to do a Google search to figure out how iPods actually connect and, you know, you can sync. So, let me eject this. Come on. There we go. And now, take it out. Put this gold one in. And I love this color. In fact, pretty much most of the reasons why I have these is because I like the color. I wish the color on this one was darker. You guys probably won't be able to tell because in the video it looks darker, but this is actually a bright shade of lime green that I kind of don't like. And now we have, and this is the stupidest name for an iPod, 4H704RKFXR1 iPod. And here we have, and I have touched none of the music on any of these. We have... Rat, rats and Rats and Rats for Candy by the Blood Brothers. My first kiss at the public execution. I have never heard of the Blood Brothers or these songs. Um, the phone has given up on recording, but uh, we are going to keep soldiering on because we don't need the phone right now. We only really need OBS. So, <laughs> greetings from the North Woods by These Arms Are Snakes. Again, I have no idea what that is. And that's been played once. South's gonna do it again by the Charlie Daniels Band. I've heard of that. I can love you better. Let's see. I'm just sort by art. Can we sort by artist? Oh, whatever. Three songs by the Dixie Chicks. I've heard of them. Two songs by George Strait. I've heard of him. The most popular song on here appears to be... Yeah, it appears to be All I Want to Do by Sugarland. I've heard of Sugarland. I do not know what Sugarland is. <laughs> and in this, I may be revealing inadvertently some of my own ignorance of popular music. But, you know, who knows? Lone Star. All I Want to Do, Sugarland. Yeah. I Want to Feel Something by Trace Adkins. Trace Adkins. Willie Nelson, Willie Nelson, Colin Ray, Gary Allen. Old Diffie. There's a lot of country on here, but there's also some Elton John on here. Uh, Tracy Chapman. I have no idea. Oh, Whitney Houston. And I... Uh, yeah. Aerosmith. Yeah, that's pretty good. Another one by the Blood Brothers. I have never heard of these guys. Um, can I not sort by album? Can I not sort by artist? I can't sort by artists, apparently. I can sort by genre, though. No, I can't sort by genre. Okay, whatever. Sitting by Cat Stevens. Let's see, we've got some Cat Stevens, Donna Summer, Elton John. Oh, Green Day. Mark Anthony, Mariah Carey, MTV Unplugged. Okay. Oh, Soul Provider by Michael Bolton. That's a good song. Let's see, Phil Collins... What the hell is Pop071907? Yeah, we got Billy Joel. A couple of Billy Joel songs. 
some Brian Adams, some from the Eagles. Well, we haven't found uh, Hotel California yet. That song keeps following me, so... Oh, Rockstar by Nickelback, off of all the right reasons. That's a good song. Keep the Faith and Bed of Roses by Bon Jovi. I I'm skipping around here. Just the same way and be good to yourself by Journey. That Okay, now I'm here. This is like a lot of greatest hits that I wouldn't necessarily consider to be like essential, you know. Love Walks In by Van Halen. Who the hell is Elvis Crespo? Who the hell is Zwan? I know Van Morrison is. I know who Sammy Hagar is. Uh, you know, Rolling Stones, Jumpin' Jack Flash, yeah. Can't always get what you want. Okay, that's... That makes sense. Love Somebody by Rick Springfield. That's pretty good. At least I think it is. I can't remember. Track 5 by Chris Isaac. I... What the... F I do not know what that is. Non-objective portrait of karma. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a strange... Strange title. Track 2 and Track 1. How much you want to bet that these got messed up? Let's see if we have any info here. Nope, no, absolutely no info. And it's an AAC, that's that's better than uh, MP3 at least, but it's still not good. Ah, Hot oh, Hotel California by the Eagles. No, no, no thank you. Track 9, James Taylor. I love James Taylor. I can't tell you off of the running time alone what that is. Price Tag by Jesse J. I hate that song. That song made me lose a dance competition once. Why don't we just do two copies of Firecracker by Josh Turner? Why? Let's see here. Track 01 by Journey. I'm just gonna click on that. That is Don't Stop Believing. That is going to get me copyright struck. IFKD by Michael Jackson. I do not know if that is correctly titled off the top of my head. Two tracks by Train. Sugar Rush by Wreck It Ralph. There's a is a big mix of and then I, now we get down in here. Where I have no idea what any of this stuff is. For all I know, this stuff is like copied off of uh, you know, Pentatonic's little drummer boy. That's strange. Way you love me by Faith Hill. None of this stuff down here has any plays. Uh, beyond a certain point, it doesn't have any plays, and beyond a certain point, it doesn't have any uh, information, album information, or uh, artist information. Let me just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna click on that real quick and play it. What is it? I have no idea what that is, but it's pretty good. At least it sounds like it, but... Okay, so we can tell from this that this person has, like, a collection of modern country and classic pop on here. And a little bit of, uh, new stuff. Let's see if, let's see if we can figure out when any of this stuff... Just check out the first one. Year 2004. I know, I want to find out when this was... Okay, that's an MP3, 192 kilobits a second, that's... Uh, <clears throat> Date modified, 2006. So that's the last time this is... Let's see if I can find a last plate on this stuff. Well, 8-11-2006, it looks like this was last used in 2006. The iPod Shuffle doesn't really have that much in the way of options. Or at the very least, the stuff was added in 2006. Yeah, this person was not particularly choosy with the quality of their audio, which is unfortunate. I wish more people would be choosier about the stuff they listen to and the format they listen to it in. All I want to do, and let's see if that has any information like that. That's from 2009, so I figure... That was... Okay, date modified 2014. So I think the it's fairly safe to say... I should have known this earlier because it had the Wreck-It Ralph song in there. Um, oh, Huey Lewis in the news. I forgot to mention that. But um, since it has the... Come on. Where did I find that? Did I skip it already? I think I... No, no, okay. Since it has Sugar, Ruff, Sugar Rush by Wreck-It Ralph on there. Oh, 2015. So the last time this iPod Shuffle was used was in 2015. That is interesting. Hang on, I did not... 
I had no idea that people were still using iPod Shuffles as recently as 2015. Added date modified 2015 date added 11 16 2019. And the rest of these are showing as date added 20. Okay, that's date added 2019. And the rest of these were 2020, I think. Some of these were 2020, I know that. 9 12 2020. I did not have this back in 9 12 2020. I bought this uh, a couple of months ago. So, yeah. So the last time this was being used or being added to was around a year ago. That's that's interesting. I was I was not aware that anybody was using an iPod Shuffle to listen to music as recently as last year. And let me see here. I'm just going to pull this off to the side if come on. I'm going to grab this and pull this off to the Okay. Now I'm going to pull, grab this and pull this off to the side so I can look at it. And... Yeah, this has roughly a gig left. This is roughly a gig of storage, and it has a little, over 100 meg a little under 100 megabytes of storage left. And it doesn't have anything on the root of the drive, unlike Mr. Silver, Frank's iPod. Because this person actually knew what to do. Now I have to pause the video, get the footage off of my phone, and uh, put it onto my computer, and then restart so that we can continue. Now that I have finally managed to sort that situation out, let's go ahead and unplug this guy, and plug in this one. I find it a little bit strange that you have to plug it in upside down, but hey, what are you going to do? Let's go ahead and go back to OBS and come on, guys. Load the iPod. Stop being slow. Stop being... Okay, do I need to unplug this? Plug it back in. Actually, hang on. Do I need to have it on to have it... show up was that no I I didn't this one showed up huh this one didn't show up when it was on when it was off but this one did that's weird I have no idea what that means I'm not that familiar with iPods come on Come on, Greeny. You were working not too long ago. Light is flashing. That's a good sign. Come on. Oh, I think... I oh, yeah, here we go. This one's called Kevin's iPod. Now, let's go ahead and look at it. And we have... And all this stuff appears to be read-only, I think. So, we have Tonight featuring Dev. I have no idea what that is. Oh, Young, Wild, and Free. That's pretty good. Make Me Feel by Cobra Starship. I don't know what that is. Um, This guy really liked Tonight featuring Dev, the original mix, I think. David Guetta without you. Who's gonna smoke hope? Hose or who's going to smoke some long weed, uh, some weed tonight, run this town by somebody I have no idea. They don't, they don't tell me. With your friends, long drive by Skrillex. This guy loved Without You featuring Usher. Sha La La for the Venga Boys. See, while the previous person loved pop and country... This person likes a lot of pop and hip-hop. And this guy has less music on here. Here, and I can't really... No, good feeling iTunes... For, oh. <laughs> well, that's definitely not... Uh, let's see if I can still see this by turning it off. Oh, fuck you by CeeLo Green. Oh, fuck you too, CeeLo, but... Eh. 
see, I wonder if this... I am one music.net. I wonder if that's a pirate site or not. I am one music.net. Because if it's not, it doesn't make any sense that uh, this stuff would be write protected or read protected or whatever. Uh, this is definitely a pirate site. It's some kind of Russian. Download music as easily as shelling pairs. I'm not going to show you guys this, but you get the point. And, uh... Yeah, just going back through this... Yeah, this guy really liked his hip-hop. I wonder when some of this stuff was played last. Let's look at that. There's a lot of, uh... A lot of hip-hop on here. A lot of, uh... EDM, <laughs> hip -hop is dream com. Uh, okay, I'm betting that almost all of this is straight up pirated. Uh, let's see. The, let's just pick the most popular song, Without You by Usher. No, David Guetta and Usher. Dance encoded with lame 38398. That, okay. 2011. It seems like the last time this was changed much was in 2011. Let's get this. I don't know a lot of these. I know some of these, but I don't know a lot of these. So I don't know when all of these were put on there. Or would have been put on there. I know this one. This one is like... Oh. I don't even need to look at date added. Hit over here. It's... I'm... Okay, I'm just not paying any attention. Date added. Yeah, last, last time this had anything added to it was in 2011. I wonder if there's anything in here that says when it was last played. It seems to have kept track. No, no. So, all of this was last used in 2011. So, this green guy here appears to have last been used in 2011... Best I can tell, this guy was last used never, and Mr. Orange and Gold over here was last used last year. That's that's interesting. It seems like I'll bet you that this guy got himself a new phone or something with more storage capacity and stopped using this, threw it into a drawer, and then decided to sell it around... Uh, 2011, uh, uh, some, at some point in time, I'm, and then it wound up in my hands. And looking at it, it has... Let's just bring this out here. Kevin's iPod has f uh, 424 megabytes free. Which isn't as much as this. And I can already tell that this was not used quite as much as this one. But this one is more beat up. So I'll bet you what happened is... This person really cared for their iPod, and they they used it up until um, up until they got rid of it around sometime last year, and then somehow it wound up in my hands. And this person, let me go ahead and eject that from iTunes. This person didn't use it much, but what they did use it, it was kind of rough. Like you can see around the edges even though this is a different color you can see that this one is clearly more beat up around the edges than this one is and then this one is the most beat up of them all oh, like it's got stains and scratches and all kinds of stuff all over it and the logo is almost worn away but it's got nothing on it, so I'm assuming that it got wiped at some point. Before it made its way into the hands of the person who had it before I did, and then he tried to put music on it and fail. So that's an interesting little look into the history of three different MP3 players. Now, I am going to be doing this again. I have a few other iPods that I would like to look at and show you guys what's on them. I have checked to make sure that there is stuff on them, but I also have some iPods that I haven't checked yet. I have some iPods 
over in bags and boxes over here that I've picked up via eBay that I'm going to show you guys within the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.